Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. I wanted to do a running video because that has been requested quite a lot in the past months. Now I wasn't able to run for about two years due to long COVID. Um, but now I would say I have pretty much recovered. So I started running in September, late September, slowly ramping up the mileage very slowly, like literally slowly. Um, I'm running very, very slow. Sometimes my whoop even asks me like, did you run or was that a walk? Like in, no joke. Um, but yeah, I'm getting up there. I don't care. I just love being out there doing my runs. I'm about 60K now per week. So slowly increasing the mileage. In fact, I have signed up for a trail race, which I'm super excited about. Um, but yeah, this video has been requested quite a lot. Hey David, we haven't seen a running video in ages. Um, can you show us what gear you use, what shoes, what clothing, etc.? So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. It's probably going to be a pretty long video because I'm trying to cover everything, right? From shoes, shorts, shirts, long sleeves, jackets, accessories, etc. So I would say let's not waste any time and jump right into the first category, which is shorts. Now, let me tell you, I am really focusing on a couple of brands because honestly, I think most of running brands are pretty boring, especially in Germany, everybody's like only running around like neon colors. So if you're interested in like looking good while running, there are only a handful of brands out there. At least that's my opinion. So I would say let's get right going and start with shorts. So the first pair of shorts that I want to show you comes from Acid. Big fan of Acid. Sorry, most of my stuff has probably some dirt over it. Um, but yeah, I love those shorts. So this is a, basically a double layer short has sort of this inner lining material and then a pretty stretchy shell on top. What I love about this short is it really feels like you're being protected from the elements, wind, etc. And this is probably the most comfortable pair of shorts that I own. It has one pocket for the phone here on the side or other valuables you could put in gels, etc. And yeah, pretty versatile pair of pants. I would say like mid length, pretty standard length. And yeah, the material is high quality. It stretches. It feels like you're wearing very little, but you still get some protection. So I can definitely recommend this pair of shorts. Also in general, big fan of Acid, right? I have talked about the brand on this channel before. Sustainable approach. They do cool stuff based in the UK. Just a cool running brand. So. This is uh, one of my favorite pair of shorts along with Satisfy shorts. Now I have a couple of pairs of, of Satisfy shorts. Uh, I just picked one example to show you. This is like for some a very breathable. You can see the material here. It's pretty much has holes in it. And what I like about Satisfy shorts is the storage that you can get from a pair of shorts. So you have a zip pocket here in the back, which has two compartments. And then you have compartments here on the side for gels, etc. You can put a lot of stuff in here and there's key pockets in there as well. Right. So you don't have to carry anything else. You can basically fit everything into the shorts has an internal uh, phone pocket as well, right? Which is uh, has sort of a protection material so it doesn't get wet. So in terms of storage, this is definitely my favorite. And now you've seen me talk about Satisfy and Acid. Those are two of my favorite brands when it comes to running, especially apparel or only apparel. Obviously, um, the focus for shoes will be on different brands. But yeah, this theme basically continues throughout. So in terms of long sleeves, which are pretty important these days because it's freezing cold outside, I have the mock neck from Acid. And this is definitely my favorite long sleeve for running. So uh, I have this in a white and in the dark gray color. And this is probably the warmest long sleeve I own. It's pretty soft to the touch. It gets softer over time even. And the neck really provides a bit of protection. First, when I saw it, I was like, okay, either I need a full neck or no neck. But honestly, wearing this, it's exactly the, the exact height I need. So yeah, pretty basic but comfortable and functional running long sleeve. Again, I have this in two colors, can highly recommend this. Now continuing on with long sleeves, here is a waffle 
Merino wool long sleeve from Satisfy. Looks a bit messy because I wore it yesterday on a mountain run. But this is a very different fabric and has a different functionality to this, right? So this is, I would say, more, it provides warmth. It, it, you feel more protected. While this one here from, from Satisfy really lets the air in a lot, right? It still provides a lot of heat if you, for example, are wearing uh, something on top. But if, you, if this is your only top that you're wearing, it's probably more suitable for a summer. But very versatile. Obviously in winter, this since it's merino, it really keeps you warm. So definitely a cool long sleeve in my opinion. Then I have the coffee thermal long sleeve from Satisfy as well. So pretty stealth looking long sleeve. Has this like beautiful woven, I'm not sure even what this is, material. This is the look on the inside. And this thing really makes, makes you hot. So I love this when it's really, really cold outside, like minus or below freezing. So this is definitely one of the best tops. It's super lightweight, very close to the body. Um, I would say sizing is true to size, right? If you really want this tight, um, then go true to size. If you want this a bit more looser, I would say size one size up, but this is supposed to be tight to the body, right? Acid, I would say in general fits pretty true to size, right? I ordered a size large, which I am. And this, I forgot to mention the size uh, for the Merino uh, piece. I would definitely size down, right? I bought this in a size three and it, since it is very stretchy, um, it is a bit big. I actually bought one in size three, one in size four, um, but I should have gone with a size two. And here's the mock neck long sleeve that I just showed in white. This is the gray version which is basically the same. Again, super hot and highly recommend this. Now moving on to pants. Right now we have pants weather. It is uh, early February here, pretty cold outside. So I wanted to show, obviously I have a couple of long pants, but I wanted to show you the highlights and the ones that I use for specific reasons. So this is the Satisfy Coffee Thermal Leggings. Again, pretty structured and thick material provides a lot of heat, uh, retains the body heat basically. And yeah, super comfortable. I love wearing those and then a pair of shorts on top. Uh, you have storage, it fits nicely. Like there's nothing bad to say about it. It's not like protective when it's super rainy outside. Then I will use a pair of pants that I will show you in a second. Um, but this is definitely for cold weather. I can highly recommend this one. And then when it really pours down, um, I have a pair of running slash hiking pants from On Running. So this is a waterproof pair of running pants, which I really only use if it's like pouring down and I have to run um, because it's quite noisy as you can hear, which is annoying, but that is obviously um, part of the material. Now On Running in general, I think makes very, very good product. Right, if you look at the details here, a waterproof zip as well. They're very like minimalist in terms of design. So you obviously have to like that. They're not as much out there as Satisfy, for example, um, but high quality products that are really thought through. You could really tell that those are runners producing those, those products. Now, moving on to jackets. I brought two jackets that I wanted to show you. One is a piece I already did a video a couple of years ago about. This is the Salomon waterproof jacket. Still my favorite waterproof jacket. Hasn't let me down yet. Seam taped. It is very lightweight and can be, can be packed very small, right? which is obviously super important. You can put it in your pack or whatever and then just break it out when the rain comes. Obviously windproof, but water, waterproof, not water resistant, right? which is an important uh, distinction here. And yeah, definitely my go-to jacket when it comes to shitty and rainy weather. But then I have a cooler option as well. Um, this is more like water resistant, I would say, right when it's, it's a bit of rain, um, but more so for the wind. This jacket comes in clutch, obviously, uh, satisfy running in this champagne color way. Now, what I love about this jacket is the front pockets, right? You have roomy front pockets where you, I usually put in my gloves or anything that I need access to but don't want to like store away somewhere where it's more complicated. Stores away in 
the pocket here on the arm, which is convenient. Now, in terms of fit, right, this is what I wanted to mention. It fits rather roomy. And what I don't like, especially on the arms, it's a bit, it's big and that's the style, which is okay. But it's not my personal taste. I prefer it to be a bit more tighter. And same goes for the hood. It's very spacious. And yeah, it's a matter of preference. That is not my favorite part. But in general, it's a pretty, pretty good jacket and probably the one that I use most often. Now we've covered clothing. Then we have two more categories left. One is shoes and the other one is accessories. I have some pretty exciting accessories to show as well. So stick around to the end. I'll start off with my favorite running shoe and that's the Norda 001. Absolutely love this shoe. I was a bit skeptical to be honest, like everybody is speaking so highly of this. So I thought, okay, it's a very expensive shoe and it looks very basic and minimal. It the fit alone looks not very sophisticated, like very straight and wide. But honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. And this is by far my favorite shoe. Now it has a Danima Appa. You all know I love Danima, which is the strongest fiber in the world. Um, it's also water resistant to some degree, um, depending on which version you choose. Uh, also wind resistant, etc. And then it basically has a Vibram outsole as well as a Vibram midsole, right? And that, that is the special thing about the shoe in my opinion and everybody else says that as well. So first of all, Vibram usually does outsoles, right? I've never seen a midsole from Vibram. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time. And it is by far the best outsole I've ever used. It's very good in rocky terrain very durable. I have like two to 300 uh, kilometers on those and they look like new basically, which is so super excited to see how long I can, I can wear them. But yeah, this is definitely my number one go-to shoe. In fact, I love it so much that I bought a second pair in this colorway, but this version has spikes. All right. So this is for winter and ice and the, Upper is a bit different as well. So this one is definitely warmer. You can really feel the heat in there. So I wouldn't recommend obviously wearing this when it's not snowy outside um, alone for the sole, but also for in terms of breathability, etc. But this is also a waterproof upper, which is really cool. So I used this a lot when there was heavy snow outside and it was ice and stuff. So such a great pair and they are quite expensive in general. The Nordas, the uh, spikes are a bit e even more expensive than that. But I think especially for like specialized winter running shoes, you can probably use those for many, many years to come. So I think long term, it is a good investment. Now, moving on to until now, my favorite running brand, which is Hoka. So this is Speedgoat 6 Gore-Tex, which I really, really like. Um, it is a bit dirty. I'm sorry about that. It has a vibrant sole as well. Um, water resistant upper, which really helps on those like autumn, spring, fall weather type of days. So I have always been a big fan of the speed coat. I think obviously um, has a very soft sole as uh, Hoka is known for, but then also still has some speed to it. So can highly recommend this one. Unfortunately, I bought this in my uh, usual size, which is a European 46. I believe that's a 12 in US, 11 and a half in US. And they fit a bit small. So when I run flat, those are perfect. But especially on the downhills, my toes tend to like uh, touch the toe box, which is not very pleasant, as you can imagine. So I bought a second pair of Focus because I wanted that soft midsole. And this is the Stinson 7, and I bought, I sized up on this much better, to be honest, especially on the downhills, as I said. Now, this colorway is ugly, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, big Hoka fan, but this colorway, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I didn't buy this to look good. I wanted to feel comfortable. Now we're coming to the last category, probably for me, the most exciting one, and that is accessories. So let's start off with this running West from Satisfy. I absolutely love this piece. Such an innovative approach. So it's basically a top vest that mostly protects your chest. And it is made out of the silver shell material from Switzerland. Has a zip at the front 
And what's special about it is that it basically has down padded inserts in the front that you can remove, right? So there are small pockets and then you can remove those if you need to. So the idea is you're running, it's cold outside, then you suddenly, it gets warmer, you get hot, you can remove them and you can then basically pack them here in the back. There's like a small pocket here. You can put them in here. They give you a small pouch with it. And yes, I wear this daily these days because it is freezing and it provides a lot of flexibility. Also, I usually get cold around the chest, weirdly enough, not the back, not the stomach area, etc. So this protects me perfectly. And I usually wear this over long sleeve, then on top a full jacket, um, one of the running jackets I just showed you, depending on the weather. And this way I stay warm, but don't get too hot. In terms of sizing, I wore a size, I bought a size three, true to size, I would say, um, but again, pretty flexible since it's a vest. Doesn't matter too much, I think. Now staying with the topic of vests, my running vest, um, that's actually a question I got a lot as well, which is my favorite running vest. I have a couple of Salomon running vests, um, but I recently purchased the on-running white running vest for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a bit cleaner in design. It's all white, which I love, not too colorful. And it has a lot of like very technical material, like different technical materials, which is incredible. This is the tag on the inside, by the way. Obviously has a lot of storage options, um, a lot of options to attach stuff. For example, I attached this Salomon piece here, which is basically holds your uh, running poles, which is honestly one of the best purchases I've made, right? You can really fold down your um, running poles quickly, put them in back and then keep going. So I absolutely love this combo. Um, what is cool about the on running vest is it has a detachable piece here in the back with a zipper um, and that is attached by different hooks. So you can easily just detach it and put it away if you don't need it. Has big storage here in the back as well. Basically too many pockets to show, but then um, obviously here the two front pockets for the flask, they come with the, um, with the vest and then two bigger ones here at the bottom. Then also a couple of zip pockets, etc. So perfect running vest. Um, again, here I went through to size, all gender, size large, fits me very good. Um, it's in general pretty flexible, but yeah, highly recommend this vest. Honestly, if you're on the fence about which vest to buy, check out this on running vest. Now moving on with accessories, um, I quickly wanted to show you which glasses I wear. So that these are the District Vision, pretty dirty, unfortunately. Uh, yellow glasses. They block blue light, which is cool. So you can you can also use them indoor if you want. But those are for like the summery days, I would say. And then for the hardcore like snow days when the sun is shining and you really feel like the light is coming in from all angles. I bought this. I think they're called Encoda from Oakley. So they are pretty dark, so they absorb a lot of light. And yeah, pretty cool glasses in my opinion. Now running watch, as I said, I will touch on every subject, every possible item. Uh, this is the Garmin Forerunner 965. I have tried initially when I started running the Apple Watch Ultra. Oh yeah. I mean, the sensors are great, but honestly, a couple of hiccups. Uh, so first of all, you can put maps on here, which is essential to me, which I didn't know for the, for the Ultra. There are ways, but it's very complicated. Um, the second thing is the Apple Watch Ultra did not somehow, for some reason, upload the correct data to Strava. So I've always had issues there. So I thought, okay, enough headaches. Um, I'm buying a Garmin again. So the 965 is pretty like a standard model, I would say. It's a multi-sport option. There are obviously cheaper ones as well, but I really wanted to have the maps. And yeah, I opted for the white one. Just a change, like there's no big difference. Now let's talk about gloves. Again, satisfy. To me, they make the best gloves. Those are the Merino wool. Sorry, the light is pretty strong. Merino wool gloves. They're pretty warm, but the wind gets through, obviously, uh, due to the material. But yeah, I, I wear those on a daily basis these days. One thing that is not working for me is the touch gestures or whatever on smartphones. That has never worked on any glove for me. But yeah, what I usually do is I start running with those. 
if I see that the weather is too shitty, basically, I put those protective mittens over the gloves. Again, this is the same silver shell material from Satisfy and they're super thin and lightweight, right? So the, there are not, it's not a warm material in general, but they are very good at storing your body heat. So if you wear those and those on top, you are pretty warm. Also protected from the wind, etc. Bit of rain, if it rains too hard, uh, the water comes through. But then if it gets sunnier suddenly or I get, I get warmer, I remove those, put them in the pack and continue running with those. So to me, that's the perfect system. Those first as a base layer and then those as a shell, if you will. I also have an option if it really pours down. So those are basically mittens from Salomon and they are waterproof. So options for all weathers, I guess. Now to protect my neck, the bandanas from Satisfy. I like them. I have several variations of those. This is again the silver shell one, which is a bit noisy, but it really protects you well. There are many different options out there. And then when it's super cold and windy, I have the coffee thermal balaclava from Satisfy again which is the same material, I think, as the tights are. So really protect you well from cold and the elements. They also pack down in a small pocket, so you can just put them in your pack, which is pretty cool. And then one last piece I wanted to show. Um, this is from On Running. So this is a neck tube, if you will, to again, protect your neck. Um, but I also have the same material, a beanie, basically, from On. So a pretty cool, thin, versatile piece. Packs down pretty small, protects you from wind, water, etc. And then last piece, again, I, I'm going to show you all products. This is my headlamp of choice, it's the Petzl. I don't know what, what model this is, um, but Petzl is the way to go in general. They're pretty lightweight. They are charged via USB, which is the main requirement for me. So you don't have to have this battery pack here on the back that they used to have. But yeah, pretty lightweight and energy efficient option from Petzl. Can highly recommend this one. All right, guys, sorry for rushing through a million products. Um, that's what it feels like at least. But I really wanted to give you a breakdown on what I use when I run from shoes to accessories to clothing. Hope you enjoyed the video, right? If you did, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Um, there will be more running content coming in the future. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.